Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Zero Web. This is me, Rikila Srijesh. So we have been discussing about the kinds of quadrilaterals in the previous video. So we have discussed the properties of trapezium mantle kite. The third kind of quadrilateral is parallelogram. So these are the examples for parallelogram. So here these these three are the special type of parallelogram that is rhombus, square and rectangle and we will discuss these special kinds of parallelogram later in detail. Okay. Now the properties. First property is opposite sides are parallel. So that is by the definition itself we have the opposite sides of the parallelogram are parallel. Right. So here we can say AD parallel to BC and AB parallel to DC right now the second property is opposite sides are equal and the third property opposite angles are equal so we can prove these two properties with the help of congruence criteria of triangle okay let us prove these two properties using this parallelogram If we are considering this two non-adjacent vertices, then we can form a diagonal, right? Then here AC is one of the diagonal of the quadrilateral ABCD, right? And this diagonal AC divide the quadrilateral ABCD into two triangles, which are the triangle ABC and triangle a D C. Okay. If we are considering only the triangle A B C, let us consider the two interior angles of this triangle A B C as angle one and angle two. And let us consider the two interior angles. These two of the triangle A D C are angle three and the angle four. If we are extending the side AD and the BC of this quadrilateral on both sides, then this AC acts as a transversal, right? We have if a transversal cross or intersect two parallel lines, then the alternative interior angles are equal, right? So here we can say angle 1 equal to angle Three. These are the alternative interior angles, right? And we can say angle 2 equal to angle 4 using the transversal property. Here, what is angle 1? Angle 1 is angle B A C, which is equal to what is angle 3? Angle 3 is angle D C A. Similarly, what is angle 2? Angle 2 is angle B C E A which is equal to angle 4 is angle D A C. Here the side A C is the part of both the triangles, triangle A B C as well as triangle A D C. So we can write as A C equal to A C. Here that is because the common sides. We have if any two angles and the side included between these two angles of a triangle is equivalent to the corresponding angles and the included side of the other triangle. Then we can say that two triangles are congruent by ASA congruence criteria of triangle. Okay, so which are the triangle? Triangle ABC which is congruent to triangle CDE. So this is by ASA congruence criterion. Clear? 
AAC congruence criterion of triangle. We can say triangle ABC is a congruent to triangle CDA. If two triangles are congruent to each other, then the corresponding parts of both the triangles are congruent, right? So from here we can say AB and the CD are equal, right? Similarly, we can say the side BC and the side DA are equal. Now we have proved the second property of parallelogram that is AB equal to DC, right? And BC equal to AD. And also we can say angle A equal to angle C, right? Similarly, angle B equal to angle B equal to angle D. So we have proved the third property opposite angles are equal. These two angles, angle A and angle C are equal and angle B and angle D are equal. Clear? Fourth property is adjacent angles are supplementary. Supplementary angles means what? That if sum of two angles are 180 degree, then we can say those angles as supplementary angles, right? So here using the same parallelogram, we can prove this. How? We have AD and the BC are two parallel lines. If we are considering this AB as a transversal line, by property of transversal lines, we have the angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So if this is a transversal, if AB is a transversal, then the angle on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So here we can say this angle, the sum of these two angles is supplementary, that is 180 degree, clear? So we can say angle A plus angle B equal to 180 degree. Similarly, if we are considering the adjacent angles A and D and if we are extending AB and CD, then this side AD act as a transversal, AB and the DC are parallel. Okay, then by the same property, we, we can say the angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Therefore, we can say this angle, this angle A and this angle D equal to 180 degree. Angle A plus angle D equal to 180 degree. Right? Similarly, we can say angle D and angle C are adjacent angles. And we have to consider this CD as the uh, transversal. Then by the property of transversal, we can say angle D plus angle C equal to 180 degree. And here angle B and C are adjacent angles. And if we are considering the side BC as a transversal line, then by property of transversal line, we can say angles on the same side of this transversal are supplementary so we can say angle b plus angle c equal to 180 degree clear so the fourth property also has been proved adjacent angles are supplementary if any adjacent angles if any two adjacent angles you are considering then the sum of angles should be 180 degree then the next property is uh, diagonals bisect each other so let us consider this parallelogram ABCD itself okay then fifth property is diagonals bisect each other here first we can consider a diagonal AC Okay, and if we are considering the diagonal BD, then these are intersecting each other. We have to prove that diagonals bisect each other. Bisect means one diagonal should equally divide the other diagonal, right? So here we have got four triangles. 
if we are considering this two diagonals then that diagonals divide the whole parallelogram into four triangles right here the point of intersection of the triangle we can consider as O this point of intersection here we got a four triangles but these two diagonals divide the whole parallelogram into four triangles right among these four triangles we are considering only these two triangles triangle AOD and a triangle BOC then how can we prove the fifth property We are considering the only two triangles, uh, triangle 2 and uh, triangle 4. If we are considering this the diagonal AC as a transversal, then we can say the alternative interior angles are equal. If we are considering this angle as 1 and this angle as 2, then we can say angle 1 equal to angle 2. Two. which property we have used alternate interior angles of a transversal so we can say angle 1 equal to angle 2 similarly if we are considering this BD as a transversal to the parallel sides AD and BC then we can say these two angles should be equal, right? Because alternative or interior angles of a transversal are equal. So, if we are naming these angles as 3 and 4, then we can say angle 3 equal to angle 4. Same property, right? Alternative interior angles. Now say we have got the corresponding two angles are equal and by definition of parallelogram we can write as AD equal to BC right that is definition by definition of parallelogram. Here you can see two angles and the included side between these two angles of one triangle is equivalent to the corresponding angles and the included side between these two angles of other triangle then by ASA congruence criterion of triangle we can say triangle AOD is congruent to triangle COB and we have if two triangles are congruent then the corresponding parts of the congruence triangles are also equal so then we can write AO equal to CO and OD equal to OB here AO is this part and AO equal to CO and similarly OD equal to OB clear so we can say diagonals bisect each other that is one diagonal divides the other into two equal parts clear so these are the properties of parallelogram now we will discuss the special type of parallelograms okay students now we will see the special type of parallelograms First one is rhombus. Rhombus is a parallelogram with all of its sides are equal. Okay, so here we can say AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to DA. All of its sides are 
equal. Since our rhombus is a parallelogram, all the properties of parallelogram also applicable in the case of rhombus, right? And here opposite sides are parallel, opposite angles are equal, adjacent angles are supplementary. All these three properties we have already seen in the case of parallelogram and we, hand, we have proved it, right? So opposite sides are parallel means what? That is AD parallel to BC and AB parallel to DC. And third property opposite angles are equal. So here we can say angle B equal to angle D and angle A equal to angle C. Then fourth property is adjacent angles are supplementary that is add up to 180 degree. That is the property says angle A plus angle B which is equal to angle B plus angle C which is equal to angle C plus angle D which is equal to angle D plus angle A equal to 180 degree. If we are adding any adjacent angles then we will get 180 degree. Clear? Then fifth property is diagonals bisect each other at a right angles. We have seen in the case of parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other but here it says diagonals bisect each other at a right angles. Then how can we prove this? We can prove this property with the help of this rhombus ABCD. Okay, let's start. Here ABCD is a rhombus, right? Then we can form the diagonal AC and the diagonal BD, right? Here the, these diagonals BD and AC divide the whole rhombus into four triangles, right? If you are naming this triangle 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, and if we are considering the point of intersection as O. Okay, it is a rhombus so we have all of its sides are equal, right? And since it is a parallelogram, we have AO equal to OC and OD equal to OB. This we have already proved in the case of parallelogram. Now, if we are considering the triangle ACD, in this triangle, we can see these two sides are equal. Right? So, this is a isosceles triangle. If we are considering the base angles of this triangle as angle 1 and angle 2, then we can say angle 1 equal to angle 2. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are always equal. Right? And if we are considering the triangle AOD and triangle COD separately and we can say from the property of a rhombus AD equal to CD right these two sides are equal similarly from the property of a parallelogram we have the diagonals bisect each other so we can say AO equal to OC right and also we have got angle 1 equal to angle 2. From here you can see the two sides and the included angle between these two sides of triangle AOD is equivalent to the two sides and the included angle between these two sides of the other triangle, triangle COD. So we can say by SAS congruence criterion triangle AOD is congruent to triangle 
COD. Okay. If triangles are congruent, then all the corresponding parts are also equal. So we can say angle AOD equal to angle COD. Okay, this angle AOD equal to angle COD. These angles, angle AOD and angle COD form a linear pair. So that we can write it as angle AOD plus angle COD equal to 180 degree. Right? So we have angle AOD equal to angle COD. Therefore, instead of this angle COD, we can write angle AOD plus angle AOD, which is equal to 180 degree, right? Therefore, two times of angle AOD equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle AOD equal to 180 degree divided by 2, that is 90 degree. Right? Since angle AOD equal to 90 degree, then we can find the angle COD. The angle COD will be 180 degree minus 90 degree. Right? Therefore, angle COD equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree, which is equal to 90. Okay? So, these two angles are 90 degree. So hence we have proved this. Diagonals bisect each other at right angles. Okay. So if these two angles are 90 degree then we can say these two angles form a linear pair. So if uh, this linear pair form 180 degree then this would be 90 degree. Similarly we can say this also will be 90 degree. Second type of special parallelogram is a square. So here this ABCD is a square. Its properties are given all sides are equal. So we can say AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to AD. Right? And the second property opposite sides are parallel. That is AB parallel to CD or DC and AD parallel to BC. And our third property, all angles are equal to 90 degree. All these angles should be 90 degree in the case of a square. Okay, that is angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C equal to angle D equal to 90 degree. Okay, and adjacent angles are supplementary. That is, adjacent angles if we are adding, then the sum of angles would be 180 degree. Okay, so here we can say angle A plus angle B equal to angle B plus angle C, which is equal to angle C plus angle D, which is equal to angle D plus angle A, which is equal to 180 degree. Right? The fifth property is diagonals bisect each other at the right angles. We have already showed this in the case of a rhombus. Right? So what it says, if we are considering the diagonal AC and diagonal BD and O is the point of intersection of these two diagonals, then AO equal to OC and the OD equal to OB. Also, angle AOD and angle DOC are 90 degree or angle AOB and COB are 90 degree. That is diagonals bisect each other at the right angles. Then sixth property, diagonals are equal. We, using the congruence criterion of triangle, we can prove this property also. Okay, let's see. AC and the BD are the diagonals. AC and the BD are the diagonals. Then we can consider two different triangles. Triangle EABC and 
ट्रायंगल बी ए डी ओके फ्रॉम हियर दैट इज दिस इज वन ऑफ द ट्रायंगल then this is the other triangle okay we have in a square ad equal to bc right and we can say angle a equal to angle b since all the angles are equal to 90 degree angle a equal to angle b equal to 90 degree a and this side ab is the common side for both the triangles triangle abc and the triangle bad therefore we can write ab equal to ab in bracket you can write it is a common side okay then we have from this three facts by using congruence criterion of a triangle that is by sas congruence criterion we can say triangle abc is congruent to triangle bad right we have if two triangles are congruent then the corresponding parts of those congruent triangles are equal so here we can say ac equal to bd that is the diagonals ac and the bd are equal okay so these are the properties of a square and the last of special type of parallelogram that is rectangle so abcd is a rectangle it since the rectangle is a parallelogram it satisfies all the properties of a parallelogram so here first property it is opposite sides are equal and parallel so by property we can say ab equal to dc and ad equal to bc opposite sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel to ad parallel to bc and ab parallel to dc right and second property all angles are equal to 90 degree so all these angles are 90 degree angle a equal to angle b equal to angle c equal to angle d equal to 90 degree then third property adjacent angles are supplementary adjacent angles are supplementary means angle a plus angle b which is equal to angle b plus angle c which is equal to angle c plus angle d which is equal to angle d plus angle a equal to 180 degree all the sum of these adjacent angles should be 180 degree next property diagonals are equal and a bisect each other here if we are considering the diagonal ac and diagonal bd then they are bisect each other so ac and bd are the diagonals and the point of intersection of these diagonals is o then we can say do equal to ob similarly we can say ao equal to oc so that is diagonals bisects each other the next it is diagonals are equal so we have proved this property in the case of a square in the similar way you can prove this property here too okay that is we can say ac equal to bd so these are the properties of rectangle and this is all about uh, the quadrilateral so we have discussed uh, the first two kinds of quadrilateral in the first video that is trapezium and the uh, kite and its properties we have discussed in the first video and here we have discussed a uh, parallelogram and special kinds of parallelogram and these two part will help you to do the exercise 3.3 and 3.4